Hello. Right. Um, hopefully you found this video because of uh, what I put in as the name of it. Um, but just to clarify you're in the right place, I'm just going to unclip the mic and uh, just have a little listen to this. Hear that? Now you might need your headphones turned up quite loud to hear that. But I unclip the mic to try and get it as close as I possibly could to it. It's like a little ticking sound coming from the, the cooler. Um, this is a, a Be Quiet Dark Rock Pro 4, uh, which is 250 watts TDP. The motherboard is uh, an MSI MPG-Z390 Gaming Plus motherboard. And the processor is an i7-9700KF. Um, so that's what uh, we've got here. Now your Be Quiet Dark Rock Pro might be making the same sort of noise for the same reasons. And um, I'll, yeah, let's fix it. So with the case fully assembled, it's probably not inaudible, but um, it's there. And it's the kind of thing that I notice and it's the kind of thing that annoys me. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to reboot this particular machine. Like, um, we'll just restart it and I'm going to go into the BIOS by pressing Dell. And we'll see what the problem is and we'll see how we fix it. Because it is something you can fix reasonably easily. So I'm, I'm tapping Dell quite a lot now. Del, 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 del. And I've caught it. And we're in the BIOS. I'm in sort of easy mode. And I'm going to go to Fan Info, which is just here. And you can see the profile for the CPU pump fan is, um, is the default one. And CPU fan speed is reporting as zero. And the CPU temp is reported as 30 because obviously it's idling. Um, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to click that little cog there and I'm going to adjust the profile so that it runs the fans a little bit faster than it would do normally. So I'm just adjusting the fan profile. So around about 40 degrees. Remember it was idling at 30. So around about 40 degrees, I'm making the fans go a little bit faster. So you can see now it's reporting it as almost, um, well, just over 900 RPM. So now I've done that, I mean, you can have a little fiddle, make it look a bit pretty, but you just need to raise the speed of the fan, the minimum speed of the fan, to a level where the fan actually spins. So now if I save that by exiting, you can see the profile there has changed. If I save that by exiting, it will reboot. And we'll have another look at the noise to see if it stopped. So it's rebooting now. Uh, I've turned off the case fans so that they don't... Um, interfere with um, the noise. So the only fans that are running are the ones in the cooler and there's one in the power supply which is sort of gently twirling. But I'm going to take the mic off again and we'll see if that noise has gone. And it doesn't tick anymore. And you get a steady. It doesn't tick anymore. You probably didn't hear that. Uh, it doesn't make that annoying noise anymore because it's not. Noises aren't the problem. What's the problem with noises is when the volume of them changes. So if you get fluctuations in noise levels, you know you're going to notice that much more than if you have a standard noise. So that gentle fan noise. Once I put the covers back on that gentle fan noise will um, will be inaudible. 
and you'll get used to it as sort of ambient background noise anyway. It's just if you have, you know, if someone taps on your window every 20 or so seconds, that's, that's going to get a bit vexing. You're going to notice that. So that little ticking sound was just because the default fan profile for the CPU cooler had the fan spinning or rather not spinning so that it was sort of didn't have quite enough voltage to spin so it would just do a little twitch tick i don't think twitch tick is a thing but it kind of is now so you get this sort of twitch tick noise and when you raise the profile up you also get um, a steady cooling and that tick disappears that noise disappears so yeah, hope that was helpful for you. Um, I'm not. I'm going to reassemble it now, and um, I mean, might have a little look at it, what it's like reassembled. So um, I'll just pause the filming and I'll put the covers back on. So I put the um, the the case panels back on, and I'll just run the mic around it so you can hear what it sounds like. So essentially you just get a low um, bit of fan noise, but no audible ticking there. So um, I did put the side panel on, but it makes it super reflective. So I'm just going to take it off. Um, in the un unboxing video for this case, I did um, say that I was worried that it was going to drop off when you undid the screws. But um, they were cleverer than me because <laughs> they can make things like this and I can't. I've, I've taken the little screws off anyway. One, two, three, four. I've taken those off. And obviously it stays there because it's got a little, little sticky outy pins that it rests on. So now I'm going to lift it off. So you needn't be worried about it dropping and breaking. Um, in wind, it drops into a little tray for in winds. Um, but on this one, it's got little sticky outy mounts for it, which is kind of nice. But with the with the side on, it was just super reflective, so I couldn't really do much. So I wanted to lift it off so you can see it sort of in all its glory. So there it is. And um, like in the previous part of the video, I ran the mic around it, so I'll just do that now. That's the case fan noise. So there you go, you adjust the fan profile and it stops the um, sort of idle tick that you get when it hasn't got enough voltage to actually spin. And um, you'll also get better cooling as well because the default profile on this motherboard is, doesn't really kick the top fan speed in until a bit late on um, when things are getting a bit hot anyway. Um, and these fans are pretty quiet, so um, it should really go full speed a bit sooner in my opinion. So um, yeah, any questions, any comments? Stick them in the comments. I hope you found this video helpful. Uh, liking and subscribing is always encouraged. Um, and um, as always, thanks for watching.